Easy, easy, easy. Hey, hey, easy. Let's go. Come on, Dunbar. <laughs> Maya. Maya. Dunbar, hey, hey, hey. He's going over, Dusty. Watch it, Kevin, watch it. <sighs> well, guys, been hiding something from you for a while. And uh, it's going to be kind of an emotional thing for Marissa and I um, because it's basically what we started with, um, but big change today. And I'm excited, I'm anxious, I'm nervous, but uh, it's uh, something we decided to do. And we're excited as a family to do this. And we're going to take some animals somewhere. The next chapter of the journey of the book begins right here, right now. Can't wait to bring it to you guys. We're super excited and uh, yeah, we'll get there. We'll get it. <clears throat> well, the good thing is the first half of this bison ranching for today is uh, Kevin's already got it knocked out for us. The next part is we got to load them up. We got one guy and four girls we're going to load up and they're going to a new place and it starts all over for them. So got new changes coming uh, to cross Timbers Bison. And it's not gonna be here, it's gonna be somewhere else. So um, let's get these guys loaded up. Gotta get the big one first. He's going to the front of the trailer and the other four are going in the back. I've gotta do it that way because we've got some things going on. So let's go get after it. I need to thank Kevin for catching them today. He's so sneaky. You just pull up and Kevin's got him caught. We came over here, Cole and Marissa and I came over here thinking, well, we gotta catch this group first. But no, we pull up and Kevin's weed eating and uh, he's got it knocked out because I look up there and all the animals are in the pen. So you better. But I just need somebody. Right, it may take two people. Well, we just got two slides. Well, here, I'll crawl through this way. So I really wanted to get Dunbar loaded first and get him at the very front of the trailer. See, our trailer comes in three different compartments. And so I wanted to get him running through the alley into the sweep tub and load it onto the trailer first. With bison, it doesn't always work that way. Considering we still had four other cows in here with Dunbar, and they started to get worked up, sometimes it's just easy to take your time and work with them and see what you get. Well, in this case, I knew Dunbar wanted to go first. He's usually the first one that wants to get out of this current holding pen. So I patiently waited, and you just kind of walk down the side of the corral and you can patiently wait and they'll separate themselves on their own sometimes. Well, in this case, Dunbar did exactly what I thought he would. He separated himself and he took off, headed towards the main corral. This way, it was easy for us just to work with him. We can get him pinned up on his own and get him at the front of the trailer. Easy, 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 hey, hey, easy. Let's go. Come on, Dunbar. <laughs> Maya. Maya. Dunbar, hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Maya. He's going over, Dusty. Hey, hey, easy, buddy. Easy, easy. Maya, stay. Come on now. Got him, Marissa. Kevin's got him. Hold on. Watch it, Kevin. Watch it. Got him. Watch it, Kevin. Watch it. Okay, Cole. Hold on, Ke Kevin. You're a. Uh, Hold on. It's really hard to push. Huh? Yeah, if you can. Here, I'll do it, Cole. Give me a second. It's right here. Hold it, right? I got you. Watch your hand. Hold it just like this. Gotcha. Okay, we 
we got. You got a chain on that door? On the Sabra Colas, yes. It's okay, Dunbar. I'm taking you to a new home, buddy. So with Marissa on the sliding gate, Kevin running the tub, and with Cole filming and shutting the last slide gate on the trailer, we got Dunbar situated at the front of the trailer, and he's ready to go. It sounded like it. Now we got to catch these four cows. Got some of them are stressed out. Looks like one really. One can stress out the whole group. But no, you can tell the other three are chill. It's just this one here in the middle. It's called Little Quapaw. Easy, mama. Easy. Did I send all four, Kevin? Huh? You want me to send all four? Hey, 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 hey! Easy! Ah! Easy, easy, get back! You got her. Hold on. Here we go. Here we go, mamas. Two of them are facing. Here they come, Kevin. Maya. Shoot, shoot. Maya. Hey, Dusty, see if you can turn them. No, you're going to have to stay down. Huh? Hold on a second. Just let them. This part got kind of tricky when they all got stuck in the alley. We couldn't get the front cow to commit to go all the way into the tub where Kevin could catch him and go into the trailer. Here they kind of sold up and this is where they stop and this is where it can kind of get dangerous here stuck in the alley in a tight place this is kind of where it comes push to shove in situations like this where they we got to get them out of the alley so that they're not so tight and won't hurt each other and we can get them into the tub and we can get them into the tub into the trailer hold on they're, they're figuring it out let's go go all right, you got her. Last one, last gate, last gate, last gate, last gate. Okay. No, 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 don't touch him, don't touch him. Here, it's perfect, Kevin. Can anybody, uh... So again, back to the trailer. This trailer has three different compartments in it. It's got two swinging gates. We've already used one gate to shut Dunbar in the front. The reason why we separate the bison into these compartments, the chances of them hurting each other is a lot higher if you have them all in one big space. Because the trailer is 24 foot long and we have these compartments, it's just easier to separate into smaller groups to reduce the risk of them hurting each other. Being in a tight space, Bison can tend to gore each other, so it's much easier to put them all in compartments into smaller groups whenever you're hauling these animals. It's in. Let me pull up. Let me pull up real quick. And we gotta chain that back. Nice Go. work. Thank you. Did good. Did good. Cool. Okay, here we go. 
Oh, just in case chain. It's good. Oh, Kevin. Oh, she knocked the horn off again. Flo, I know. We got him loaded. Thank you, Cole. Awesome work. Marissa, good job for not getting too nervous. And Marissa had a huge job slamming uh, the last gate that make sure we catch him. And Kevin, of course, doing the most dangerous job running the tub. So um, anyways, we got all five of them. And the bad part is here is uh, there's one more. Of course, our princess is uh, left in the pasture because she wouldn't come up, but uh, I guarantee you, Oof. now that we're leaving and uh, taking these animals somewhere, Eleanor, um, it's getting rowdy back there. Eleanor will eventually come up. Now that these animals are gone, Eleanor will come up. So that's our last big challenge is getting Eleanor. And I trust Kevin, I know he'll get her. I know, he's got a lot of suitors. He's got a lot of boys chasing her over yeah, there he all does. by herself. It's, it's Eleanor and a lot of bulls. So I'm sure she's in happy land right now. She's flaunting her stuff, so looking cute and all. We'll get her and then that'll be our next challenge. So I know some of you may be frustrated, you know, may not like it. And it's uncomfortable for Marissa and I. Sometimes you have to make change for the better. And we're gonna do our best here with these animals and we think it's time to to move them and uh, then we have a lot of new challenges ahead of us but sometimes change is needed and i know it's hard it's uncomfortable for us sometimes too but we hope it's for the better so just for all of cross timbers bison and the whole family so let's take them to the new home We're here. Well, you guys probably figured it out where we are, but uh, whew. are you ready, hun? <laughs> it's got real when we pulled in here. I was like sitting here looking at the hoss herd. I see the big Joe herd down here and I'm like, all right. Well, I hope we're ready for this. So uh, yeah, we're here. We've got all five of them. And uh, the big guy Dunbar, none of our heart and soul guy we started with is loaded up in the trailer this is the first time dunbar has actually been in a trailer since what the fall of 2018 we got him in the spring of 2018 and at docks and this fall of 2018 we actually took him back to docks vaccinated him. we vaccinated him because we didn't have a working facility yet and we came back that was when we lost our first one that's another story and then we ended up with five and dunbar was our main bull and then four cows that we have part of that so yeah the only thing left is to let them out in well, the pasture. it's just uh let's let them go Catherine's up here now i don't need to be in it do you remember your first day what my first day on the ranch yeah you broke your phone no, i wasn't first day that no, was like second week first, yeah did i tell you that mm -mm. yeah she let Minor the calves details, out very minute details we don't need to discuss it's okay. It's not like I've let any animals out before, so. Definitely not uh, yeah. recently. Human yeah. error. Yeah. Only, only a whole entire herd. 12 hours, 24 hours. Well, 28. Anyways, now the next thing to do is we got to let them out. And uh, this is where we can do what we always do. Instead of doing a pasture release, now that we've got the big guy, Mr. Dunbar, with us, it's a way different deal. Um, I've got Hoss over here. I've got big joe right here and then we got four mamas uh that have never been here so what we have to do is we do like to do a what we call a warm introduction and so what that means is we basically put them in a heavy duty corral system that we already have established here and we let them stay in there they've got food water hay all of those things they are introduced to their new home new smells because that's the next thing is these animals are intelligent. Dunbar's gonna pick up the wind of Hoss. He's gonna pick up the wind of Big Joe. Now, 
he's met Big Joe before, right? Because Big Joe and Dunbar came from Mom and Kevin's. And uh, they were there together uh, for a year or two. Um, but he's never met Haas. So that should be interesting. But the great thing about it, and what we'll lead into, is the Haas herd is going to come up. Those 27 are going to come up. And they're going to be able to touch nose to nose with Dunbar. And so what that does, instead of them just going out, you know, like a boxing match, we're going after it. They get to smell of each other. They get to actually touch noses. It's a, it's a physical touch because okay, they can touch noses and they're getting all their senses in and not able to get after it sort of and not let their bodies um, fight, I guess. And I don't know if that's the right way. And I'm, you know, we've been doing this five years. I'm sure there's a lot of older bison uh, ranchers, uh, guys that can say, well, it's okay. You can probably throw them in there. Um, but this is the way we like to do it. And I don't mean to take anything away from anybody else, but this is the way we do it. It feels comfortable to us. And, you know, when you got a almost a 1600 pound animal and then you're going to mix him in with a, you know, a, 1200 pound bull that's younger you know you, things could get interesting and so <laughs> especially after the little roundup we had the other day yeah yeah especially after that roundup yeah uh, accidental roundup but um it's a comfortable thing for me uh let them get habituated to their new home new environment new smells and do that for a couple of days marissa and i'll feel a lot better and then we can do a pasture release and actually let them go and intermingle with each other and do their normal stuff and so it's just a warm introduction basically to do that so without further ado let's go introduce Dunbar to the Ponderosa Dunbar's finally here at the Ponderosa. We can't wait to start our new journey with Dunbar. Thank you to everyone that was a part of this special day. Videoing you, videoing me, <laughs> watching it in reverse on YouTube. Great. Videoception. Ah! <laughs> 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 